Mel Potter has been in the business of being a cowboy for over 60 years. He now lives in Marana, but says he got his start in Tucson. Kind of just went to the Tucson rodeo and thought that looked kind of fun to do and just started doing it. I picked up a bad habit. <laughs> As a businessman, he has never relied on his horses as his main source of income. Horse business is kind of like roping. <laughs> if you can break even, you've done a heck of a job. His real business is growing cranberries in Wisconsin. But as a horseman, his goal has been to produce horses closely related to the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame inductee, Driftwood. I just wanted to kind of reincarnate old Driftwood, you know, and make sure that his blood didn't disappear off the face of the earth, at least while I was around. Potter's grandson, Ryan Alexander, appreciates his family's well-bred horses. You know, when I grew up, I always kind of had good horses and almost took it for it just for granted. And then when you go and you get on someone else's or you mount out, all of a sudden you realize my horse is that much, is that much of an asset to me. The success of Potter Ranch can be found where the breeding program meets the rodeo arena. Partnered with professional rodeo athletes, Potter Ranch horses have won more than $4 million. We've, we've had a lot of success with people riding, riding those, these horses that we've raised. Raising horses and competing in rodeos has been a family affair for the Potters. The whole family competes, and his daughter Sherry is a multiple-time world champion. Sherry talks about what it's like to be successful on her family's horses. I mean, it's very rewarding to see that your breeding program and stuff that you believe in and, and want to um, be successful on actually is. The Potter's breeding program currently includes three available stallions and multiple mares in full. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Carol Ann Scott.